A family recipe shared to bring a smile during a very difficult time. That's the origin story of a little street cart known for its bubbles and flavors in Little Italy. And starting today, Mount Granita has a permanent place to call home. Peyton Domsky reports. The bubbles are still there. A nod to Mount Granita's humble beginnings three summers ago. We started doing the bubbles because we didn't have a, a sign or a store or anything. It was just kind of something to fill the air and grab people's attention. Attention meant to be a diversion in the early months of the pandemic, filled with fear, uncertainty, and long walks outdoors. So we wanted to try to do something to alleviate that a little bit, you know, as much as we could. Something fun, something light, something that everybody could enjoy um, outside. So Christopher Jancola served up small batches of Granita, a non-dairy frozen dessert, a combination of fruit, water, and sugar that he watched his great-grandmother make. Growing up, she would take the leftover espresso and mix it with, you know, some secret ingredients, mm -hmm. put it in the freezer and scrape it with a fork every few hours. And that was always what I knew as granita. A granita recipe brought to Cleveland and Little Italy when Giancola's family immigrated from Sicily. It took plenty of trial and error to get the blend of flavors just right extending beyond his Nana's original offerings. I think she would be really proud to see all this. And proud to see Mount Granita, now a brick and mortar, open on Murray Hill Road. What does it mean to you to have such supporting neighbors? I wouldn't want to be in any other neighborhood. We'll stop in any restaurant or shop or cafe, and um, people are always willing to give tips. People are always lending out a hand of support. Um, so I really couldn't ask for better neighbors and a better business community to start a business in. 11 flavors and using only a few ingredients, all of which Giancola insists are the highest quality. It's all made with fresh fruit, organic cane sugar, and water. So it's uh, vegan, it's gluten-free, it's dairy-free. Now open to the public, just a few steps from where their cart once sat. Giancola insisted on one feature for Mount Granita's permanent home a walk-up window to serve those out for a stroll, and of course, bubbles to help lead the way. We never really thought that we would be here coming from a you know just a small sidewalk cart, but we're here. It's really exciting. Peyton Damski, 3 News. And it looks like it's Peyton approved. Okay, the grand opening is today at 5 p.m. If you're wondering the difference between granita and Italian ice, we are told it's texture. Mm -hmm. But what we know as Italian ice actually originated from granita. And I, I was telling Holly in the break, I said, this is your specialty here yeah. as our resident Italian. I don't think there's a place you could walk into in Little Italy mm -hmm. and not find something fantastic. Yes. But what I will say that stood out to me and I was telling you both uh, during that story is that they use minimal ingredients mm. in Italian cooking, in a lot of cooking, but less is more. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's the quality. Yeah. You know what I love about that story is just hearing the backstory and when yeah. people go there now, you right. know, to know where it, how it started. Plus, and there's the bubbles. History lesson, yeah. the bubbles. I mean, there's bubbles. You can't, you can't beat bubbles. the bubbles. You can't beat the bubbles. Yeah. How do you also not go? People who love, you know, being vegan, everybody's sort of mm -hmm. transitioning into that. That's a good way to have your treat. Yeah, you know, ice is. cream feel without the it dairy. It reminds me of my grandpa Sam so much because uh. he would always bring mum and ice over mm. to the house on a warm summer's night. Yeah, for sure. That's I think a we huge shall go. Tradition. We, it's going to be a little field trip. All right, and uh, <laughs> we'll be warm enough for maybe a little lemon ice or a simone this weekend. The walk-up window, Holly. Yeah, the walk-up window is key.